What's up guys, today we're going to be installing a spare tire sub in a 2022 Volkswagen Atlas. So this is the one we went with, very straightforward. It's preamped. we're just getting started here. So it's got an amp built in, everything's good to go. Just basically running signal wire, power wire, and actual power to the battery. So when you're running your power wire, instead of trying to go through the main heat shield grommet here, if you pull this back a little bit, there's a secondary, like an auxiliary nipple you can cut off. Wire goes straight through. And on this particular one, there is a extra power port here for this to just drop on. Nut goes right on there, done. When you're bringing your power wire down from your heat shield back here, you got to pop this up, just grab it and pull. It'll come up and then you can just tuck it push it back and push it up under this other piece back here up under here for the controller we put it in here wire runs right out the back that way it's not like down there and he can just reach up and grab it you know wire runs out the back and then I brought it between here and here and tucked it behind this panel here as you can see we're still doing the tuck all you do is lift and push all the way around we run it all the way through here, taking this panel off, this panel off, and if you pull here, you can just kind of tuck it. Wires are here, they're going to go over, down, and straight out the back. After a little further investigation, we remember that this square right here is where this trim piece locks in here. So, we're going to drill ourselves out a nice little port down here to pass the wires through. There we go, much better. So this is below your carpet line. So it's gonna go straight around this little foot here, over and into your sub. Plenty of slack. So instead of tapping into the speakers in the door, like some people have done, we ran our speaker wire all the way up to the front. And if you slide this out of your glove box, you're gonna find, these are your speaker pins right here. So this is gonna be your cluster of speaker wire. So we're gonna tap in here Instead of trying to get, you know, the panels off and through the door because after a certain point, all the wires are white anyway, so it's just guesswork. So, we're going to tap in here. So, you're going to want to pop this bracket out of this molly, which is plugged into the back of your amp. And I will post a photo of the how the wires are done. But, basically, you have positive, negative for your rear speaker on the right or left, and then the other one is also positive and negative. Your front speaker positive negs are in the middle. So I'll post the diagram somewhere here in a second, and you can see that. So all we've done is put these vampire clips in and then run to our speaker wire. But one thing, once you get it all back together, every light you own is gonna come on. All your warning lights, ESC lights, all that sort of stuff. Because there's a difference in the electrical current, the system has to relearn everything. So we've been driving for about 10 minutes. Everything's gone back off. Um, the only thing left is the check engine light, which we're cruising over to AutoZone to have them reset for us. But yeah, relatively straightforward install. I would say total labor time, maybe what, two, two and a half hours? Like, once we actually had all our components together and figured out how we needed to do this. There's a learning curve because this car is so new to the market, but it doesn't take very long once you figure out what it is you need. Yeah, so. Hope this helps. Link in the description below to the stuff that we use to do the install. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments. This was pretty straightforward. Good luck.